And I know Ojeland's book have been an influence in Ecuador. I've seen his books on sale in Spanish there. Um, then, then also the whole idea of genealogy, because to me, one of the understandings that Ojeland spelt out so clearly is, I do feel it's true that the primary oppressed group in the world is women, really. And he has given such a clear roadmap for confronting patriarchy at the same time as confronting capitalist hegemony of different kinds. And one of the, you know, in the idea of Jin Jian Azadi, one of the ideas is, you know, the because he, he looks at the objectification of women and I look at the objectification of indigenous peoples through anthropology, through many different things. So that breaking down of the subject object kind of hierarchy really th there's nothing like it i think his his work is incredibly important intelligence agencies have always worked through conspiracies you know if you look at the history of cia it's just a history of conspiracies really uh so this is partly why because when ojalan was arrested as you know and i'm sure your viewers will know you know it, it involved coordination between the intelligence agencies of certainly Greece, Kenya, Israel, Turkey, almost certainly Britain and America were there too. So um, that coordination is something that has happened. Maybe you can see it also because Ojalan's whole system is to question capitalism, but also to question the nation state and the hegemony of the this artificial construct that became kind of general during the 19th century. So his his he, his question is too radical, I suppose, for the the capitalist elite who, who are organizing things. And that's why they coordinated this, I, I would say. I went in a few years ago on a delegation uh, to Turkey uh, uh, asking for the release of Ojalan, basically, and at least meeting his lawyers. and. I met his lawyer several times in Istanbul and I learned in much more detail then about the isolation and it is absolutely inhuman. You know, it's against all international law, all national law, I would imagine too. Um, no no contact with family, no, you know, no proof that he, he is still alive basically. And that extent of Isolation for somebody who is hugely respected by a large population of the world. It's um, it, it's just untenable. Uh, the importance of his freedom for peace in the world. Um, in, in a way, Ojalan is a symbol of trying to find a way through intractable conflicts and challenges. Um, and, and the international silence on the violation of the international law and local laws is is really something truly shocking. I mean, especially the media silence. We hear a lot about Palestine, and it's quite proper that we do, but the Kurdish issues have been sidelined out of mainstream media for a very long time. And, you know, I, I know good people in many countries who know about the situation, but the vast majority of people don't know, they don't care there's so many other problems and and yet i see the 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 challenge that is facing the kurdish people in particular because they're right at the heart of the middle east in a way i'd say they're at the heart of world history really so ojalan's release is just an incredibly important issue it shows the the level of conspiracy against the people against the people of every country actually um a kind of collusion behind the scenes with intelligence agencies, with NATO, the real agenda. You know, NATO is very strong about Ukraine, but says nothing about Kurdistan and the invasion of northern Syria and northern Iraq. And um, so it, it shows it shows the the mafia state that is running the world, really, the mafia power structure. We all thought we would never hear the voice of Julian Assange free again, but he has been freed. And he spoke a few days ago at the Council of Europe and he he spoke so well, you know, after years of isolation, 
it shows that hope is possible, that we must hope that international pressure can can achieve something. Um, because as, as Assange was saying, it's not just him or just Ojalan who is there. It's thousands of the best meaning people on, on earth are, are in jail. Recently, some of my friends in India were in jail. And this is something that has to change. It, it, Ojalan is a symbol for not just Kurdish people, but for many of us. I see more and more the Kurds as one of the key indigenous peoples of the world, really. And when I was in Turkey recently, I was looking up in, in both the Kurdish and the Turkish dictionary, I couldn't find the word indigenous, which was very interesting because in Turkey, I guess the idea of indigeneity is almost banned because the Turkish language has come from, you know, Central Asia. It's not indigenous to there. In Turkey, the idea, like almost in India now, you cannot talk about the ancient Ved the ancient civilization that was in India. That um, and in in Turkey, similarly, you cannot talk about the Kurds as indigenous. I, I guess. I mean, it should be obvious. It it is something archaeologically obvious, obvious in every way. Ojalan says the the origin of the word Kurd is a Sumerian word, Kurti, people of the mountains. And in a way, in those Sumerian times, they resisted integration into a state and they're resisting now, you know, with the four states that are not even giving them autonomy. So I feel a huge importance of this indigenous issue. Turkey is a key member of NATO. They are inactive. But then what signal are you sending to everybody who is supporting Ukraine or any other war or, or issue that NATO is trying to up pretending to uphold freedom. Uh, it's it's just a blatant contradiction. But on, on the other hand, you see, you know, the, the long march that has just been in Germany, the vigil in Strasbourg, and statements by people all around the world, really. And, and also, I, I would end by stressing, Julian Assange has been freed, and it shows that international pressure of the right kind, meeting meeting all the important people, influencing people one by one, showing why it is so important by calm reasoning. Um, I, I, I feel it's very, very um, important and it, it still can be successful by, by raising the profile of, of Ojalan's situation and emphasizing, you know, there cannot be peace in the Middle East without involving the democratic structures that have been developed, you know, um, among the Kurdish people.